Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just a relax, say, chit chat, whatever. Um, I I needed something to take up my mind off uh, my day. My I'm being overly dramatic, but I worry terribly about my dogs. Um, and my little man Winston has gone in to be uh, neutered today, and. You know, it's a routine procedure, everything's fine, everything will be fine. But until I get my phone call to go pick him up, I am just... Uh, I always feel on edge when they're in for anything. They're like my little babies. So I thought uh, I'd come get some filming done, get some videos done, a bit of colouring done if we're lucky. And uh, take my mind off it. So here I am with you guys. Um, we've had to get him done. He is um, TMI and all, but constantly, constantly humping my other dog. It's got to the point where it's just uh, too much. He's nearly three. Um, so we were hoping like he'd kind of calm down and settle with it, but he's driving my other dog insane. So it, it just needs to be done. And uh, so he's gone in today. And I should get my phone call uh, later on this afternoon, hopefully, to go pick him up. So, yeah, just try and keep myself busy. And uh, find things to do. So here we are. So anyway, on normal notes. Um, I think it's been a while since we sat down and had a colour and chat together. It feels like a while. Um, I mean, it feels like a while till I got time to sit and actually colour in my craft room, to be honest. Um, you may have noticed I've not done a completed pages video uh, the last couple of months. I'm saving them for a quarterly one at the minute just because, you know, I've, I've managed to get so little pages done that it's just not really worth a video otherwise. Um, so yeah, there'll, uh, there'll be a quarterly one at the end of this month for you guys to have a little look at. I know completed pages are a lot of people's favourites. I did, however, manage to get my colouring combos um, video done where I share different combinations for you guys to use that I've used on my pages, different colour palettes and uh, the pencils and such so that is up. Um, whoa, I'm not uh, not really sure what other videos I've done other lately other than um, holes I think, got some holes up, of course this is me. Um, and of course the colour along, although late this month has gone up, um, so every month I do the colouring hashtags for you guys for the month. So Maze is up and uh, there for you guys to check out and see what uh, community hashtags you can participate for me. Um, I was very sorry to see Book Depository um, is closed now, it's gone, which is... Uh, Rather a sad affair. Have you guys found it's been quite difficult to get books on time lately um, through Amazon? Um, in fact, a few I've had to um, cancel my orders and buy them with the works and places like that because they just weren't, well, they just kept getting cancelled or... Um, pushed back so it's quite unusual times really there so yeah definitely sad to see um, an alternate route to uh, purchasing the books has shut its doors sorry guys I'm trying to decide if this has got enough white to it, I think we'll be all right. Um, and yeah, yeah, I know how ridiculous it is that I am still on this page <laughs> after after all this time. Um, I've been working on this thing for weeks now, ever since the two weeks with Kirby. Um, yeah, 
I'm still on with mine. I'm loving how it's turning out. I will zoom out for you guys uh, before the end of this and show you the page properly, I promise. Um, I am getting there, if you can kind of see, like, you know, some of it is done, <laughs> some of it is coloured. Um, you guys know what I'm like. Uh, sorry about that guys, my dad arrived so I've now no idea what I was saying so change of topic and uh, back to my page but yeah I'm getting there uh, maybe, slowly, kind of, not really uh, nobody joined this channel for fast colouring did they? because they know better uh, I must apologise for my, uh, my nails <laughs> I never paint, I hardly ever paint my nails because of the job I do, obviously I'm in dental so don't really bother um, but I thought, you know, I sat last night and I painted them and of course today, not really thinking about it, decided it would be a good idea to um, use paint and ink so I have washed my hands but of course the paint is settled into my <laughs> manicure and now I have an artist's manicure so, oh well Not to worry, it is, it is what it is guys, it's not changing. So if you see splashes of white and blue and green in my nails, that was uh, added after. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys know I, I've been trying to play with uh, playing with ink a little bit, playing with oil pastels especially a little bit um, just trying to find more fun, easy background materials because uh, although, you know, I sit here for weeks on this page I I just, I don't have the uh, iron will to do a background in pencil so uh, it has to be other supplies. I bought myself some masking fluid um, and we're going to see if we can play with some ink and some oil pastels in our colouring book backgrounds without completely annihilating the page. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see. Yep, exciting times, I guess. <laughs> I love playing with new stuff, you guys know me. Uh, when I get, actually get the opportunity to sit and play. And uh, I will film it, I promise to take you guys along for the ride, of course. Um, been gaming a bit lately so it has eaten into my colouring time. Uh, still on with the new loom knitting a little bit. I've not made many things. I think I've made about two scarves and two hats so far. Um, trying to get brave enough to uh, work up towards a uh, um, well, I'm going to start with some fingerless gloves, I think, to go with the set that I've made so far. Um, I'd love to make a jumper or a knit vest, but I'm not sure. I just don't think I'm there yet. Um, I have, of course, bought loads of yarn, because this is me. <laughs> yarn everywhere now just to add to my crazy hobby room but I got some really really um, pretty yarns from a couple of stores near me and from hobby I think it was online um, got some like discount yarns some really good prices so uh, worked out quite well like I say quite excited love a new hobby and uh, so I've been watching watching some of that on YouTube trying to pick up some t 
tips and tricks and patterns and info. And uh, I do, I mean, I love the Kirby pages and I do love how they come out, but honestly, it takes me so long that I just kind of avoid them. I'm really hoping, um, you know, that I might be able to play with some mediums that will make things a bit faster because it's so nice to be able to do these kind of pages. I'm just, a, I'm, I'm just terrible for just getting to that point where I can't be bothered. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> oh, I need a colouring partner in crime really that will finish my pages off for me <laughs> when I'm fed up. I'm uh, just adding green into my blues to add that kind of look of ivory and I've been using a dark grey to shade it out. Um, wanted them to look, they're not really supposed to be ice but I just didn't want my stonework to be grey. Uh, I wanted it to be a little bit different so that's why I went with the, the blue just, uh, just to change it up a little. A little bit fun. Um, and I, I do like it. I like the colour palette on this one. I like the purple guy, alien squid thing, whatever, with the blues and the greens. Uh, yeah, I'm not not mad with my colour choices. Uh, I've been using these colour pencils on here and they are nice pencils. I just, I don't think this is my favourite um, paper for them. I think something with a little bit more texture would make the blend a little bit easier. Don't get me wrong, you can, it's, it's doable. It's just a little bit more effort, a little bit more difficult. Uh, the colour payoff on these pe pencils is fantastic though. And there's some beautiful colours in the set. I mean, it's a set of 300, so you'll be quite difficult to not find some beautiful colours in a set that big, surely. Um, but I have been enjoying with them. I'm not mad at the process. I've not found it, you know... Um, an unbelievable chore like I say it's it's perhaps not my best pencil paper combo but you know the the page has turned out really nicely and that's the main thing and uh, I can't say you know I've been dreading coming back to it I'm just at that point where I've been at it so long now I'm getting a bit bored with leaves and stone and you know rinse repeat rinse repeat it's, uh, gets a bit a bit old doesn't it let's just darken this up a little so yeah what else um my diet started yesterday <laughs> yeah i'm i'm there um my blood pressure's a bit high. Uh, I'm waiting for my appointment at the doctor's in a couple of weeks because, uh, well, you all know how that goes, getting an appointment anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I need to need to behave, restrict my diet. Um, cut the sugar and the usual. I'm a little bit higher end of where I prefer my weight to be as well. Uh, 10 stone 4 at the moment so I'd like to bring that down a little bit but obviously mainly the the blood pressure for sure is my uh, main focus and concern there so I'm trying to be good I'm not quite ready to chew my own fingers off yet but I'm sure I'll end up there 
just trying to my thing is you know um it's the bad stuff not eating enough good stuff snacking sugar need to uh it's the bane of life isn't it just need to cut stuff out a bit more exercise in between all the hobbies <laughs> my problem is all my hobbies are well none of them are aerobics that's for sure oh, can you even see what i'm doing here why am i always it's because i'm left-handed i'm always like right over here um, it's just the way it works out for some reason. I need to start maybe like moving uh, my my camera further over so that I automatically end up a bit more in the middle donor. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever. Um, what next? What else? Let's do these. These these look like roots to me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna decide that's what they are but yeah just having a little bit of a little bit of um some vertigo a bit of dizziness uh, a little bit of trouble with my eyes and i've had an eye test and they're fine so uh what a lot of fatigue i think maybe my anemia's playing up again but i have to wait for my doctor's appointment for that just a lot of pressure in my head in my neck which that's probably my blood pressure so yeah i'm trying to uh, take, take it easy reduce my stress and uh you know eat a little bit better and Add a bit of exercise into my routine. And, uh, you know, just take a bit of the pressure off myself. Chill out a little bit. It's, it's, things aren't the end of the world. Um, I think I've been stressing about being behind on things as well. And it's, uh, it's not productive. So... We'll see. Um, I've been playing Harvey Stella to help with my chillness. Uh, it's a Square Enix game. I'm a big Square Enix fan. I'm waiting for Final Fantasy 16 to pop up, that's for sure. Um, it's like a crafting RPG kind of roleplay game, should I say? Crafting sort of game, which is right up my alley. A little bit new for them, so really enjoying that i'm just waiting to be honest until fantasy life comes out on the switch which is a, a crafting gathering kind of game and uh pikmin of course which i've been waiting for years and it's, it's nearly here so <sighs> i'm a big gamer if you can't tell quite quite a fan it, definitely helps uh, relax me my headaches have been so bad lately they're just on and off on and off all the time so yes yeah, so there's definitely something going on and need to find out what it is and start taking a bit better care of myself so uh, my husband's uh, gonna do the journey with me. He's he's started his diet and he's he's he exercises anyway. But um, I'm gonna do it together. Uh, just uh, keep an eye on my keep an eye on the old blood pressure. See if we can. Uh, Get stuff to settle down somewhat. Having quite a lot of um, the the vertigo and the 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 pressure in my head and stuff is making um, it's making colouring a little bit more uncomfortable. I kind of don't feel 
100% sat and uh, bent over the page at the moment so like I say I've been there's been a little bit less content at the moment but hopefully once I get uh, a little bit sorted, a little bit straight, a little bit healthier maybe um, I'll start to feel a little bit better, a little bit more up to stuff and uh, it's just the pressure behind my eyes to be honest that's uh, you know makes things a little bit uncomfortable Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be at this page for so long, there's just so many little bits, just need to sit and crack on. I should know better really, than to start a page like this. <laughs> Asking for trouble this is. But yeah, I mean apart from that, you know. Same old, same old, just need to uh, find more time in the day to get things done, and sorted and <laughs> too many things that need doing, isn't there? We all, uh, we all know how that is. Uh, do we, um, I'm thinking this is the rock and not not tree roots, tricky is that one, can't quite tell but I'm thinking that the texture is drawn in. I'm going to go with this being um, the extension of the pillar, I'm a bit unsure, it's quite tricky to tell. You can no, I'm never usually really tell till you've coloured it that it's not right and obviously by then it's, it's a bit late. This bit is definitely part of the part of a pillar so I feel quite safely confident to do this part. I definitely require a little bit of concentration to the Kirby pages. It's pretty sad that he's on a on a on a break from creating books I mean I get why it's got to happen at some point hasn't it or you just go crazy um, there are a lot of mythographic books coming out and um, they seem to have upped the amount of artists that they work with as well and um, I feel like there's one coming out every five minutes to be honest now being a little bit more selective with the one I used to um, well I always seem to get the Fabiana and the Joseph Kattenbank mythographics because um, it's rare that I'm not uh, that I don't like their work I don't um, I don't buy the is it the Alessandre books I'm not um, it's not my favourite art style so far I haven't really felt compelled towards his pages um, so I think I'll probably check out these new artists as well before diving in there's just so many coming out now that just got to start being a little bit more picky haven't you in, in which ones you pick up when the churning out quite a lot of them or I have anyway um, but yeah I finally got my beautiful uh, wildflowers book by Christine Caron I had to give up in the end and uh, buy it from the Blue Angel publishing site so it cost me a little bit more but um, again Amazon are being it just seemed to be the the date kept changing on my Amazon kept being pushed back and back and back so I just thought well 
it's one I really want, so um, I'm a big fan. She's a must buy for me, and to get an artist edition on nice paper when hers are usually on the Amazon print is a, a real treat. It's not my favourite paper, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but Prismas do work really well in it and I do tend to use Prismas on her pages anyway so I figured it should work out just fine and uh, it came and it is beautiful bit of grain. Oh, pleased to have that one. Um, quite exciting, the new Rita Berman and that's been announced. Is it off to Africa or something like that? And uh, of course, the new Joanna Basford that's been announced. That looks very intriguing as well. And of course, I do believe Hannah Cole's on, is working on her next book. And there's been a sneak peek for that as well. Can't remember if it's is it an Atlantis one this time. Can't remember now if I'm getting that mixed up with someone else. See, I slowly, slowly make progress. It just never feels like it's. Um... <laughs> more coloured than white yet uh, I always struggle um, what to talk about with you guys if you've got topics for <laughs> uh, topic examples for or things that you'd like to know for any of these colouring chats pop it down below and I'll uh, I'll address it in the next one. It's difficult because most of my life revolves around my work. And of course my work is um, confidential because I treat patients all day. So most of my stories and events and, and interesting life stuff is not something I can share because it's confidential. <laughs> um so it's tricky, it's tricky, uh, you know, I like to, I know you guys want to know things about me and uh, life and updates and details, but it's uh, tricky when, yeah, most of my life is uh, working related, really, to be honest. I know, pretty boy. But true unfortunately definitely going with these being plants they are now anyway I don't know how I completely Missed that bit there, but apparently I did. I think my problem is that I spend too much time on the little details that realistically disappear into the page. <laughs> and therefore it's probably a little bit unnecessary. And could be done in a much quicker way. Um, oh, speaking of what we've been doing and what we've been up to, I've completely shifted my crafting around. Uh, crafting room around I've gone through everything we've sorted everything out neatened everything everything has a label on and a place and you know I've just gone through my stock and shifted out things that I'm not using um, and I've put my desk sideways in my room so instead of sat under the window taking up one wall it kind of 
is into the room now so it's created a lot of space uh, around the walls for you know storage and items that wasn't being utilized so uh, I like it so far took me took me a few days on a whim um, so again not a lot of crafting got done I think are you how many of you guys are like me I think I spend more time sorting and organizing than I do uh, using I feel like it's a hobby in itself because it 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 really helps me stress relief like I will sit and I will go through my drawers take everything out neaten everything up decide what goes where shift everything around um get rid of stuff I don't need or want or is bad I don't think I've ever had anything that's gone off but I mean it must happen um and yeah I, I just probably would get a lot more crafting done <laughs> if I didn't do it but it's not that like my stuff's messy so I have to and I need to like learn to keep stuff cleaner I just I do actually tend to put things away behind myself I just find that it helps my state of mind I don't know does that make sense do you guys do that <laughs> that um just clearing stuff out just helps with everything and even like I'm not saying like I go through and I get rid of loads of stuff I mean I hardly ever get rid of anything you know I'm a terrible hoarder but just you know neat and clean rearrange I'm constantly changing my craft room it's constantly evolving into like you know more workable space when as I you know sit and use and work and play in here and realize that you know that drawer over there is too far for that thing it gets moved closer to me I don't know is that just me is that you guys do we all do that hmm. do I need to <laughs> do I need to maybe stop doing that get some stuff done I don't know um, well guys I did promise that I would show you this page properly so I'm going to bring I'm going to bring my camera out a little bit so you can see the sky so like I said I mean I don't know does it look like I've done a lot or not really it feels like I've done a lot and yet it also feels like there's so much left to do like I said, I do like how it's turning out. Um, so it's not that, like, you know, I've got to a point where I think, oh, that's that page is not recoverable. It's, um, I love it. I just can't be bothered with it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm chipping away at it. That's what I've decided. Like, when I'm fed up, I do something else. Um, and when I get the urge, I immediately um grab my pencils and do at least you know like that little half an hour chatting away to you guys it didn't make a massive dent but I got this bit of pillar I finished this bit of pillar I got some more leaves done down here um you know some of the bits and pieces in here so yeah you know um if I keep chipping away at it eventually one of these days, one of these months, one of these years, it'll be finished, hopefully. Look at the state. Look at my... Why did I bother? I don't know. Maybe I should just splash them all and then uh, pretend it's on purpose. Mm. The manicure that it was meant to be. I might try that. I hope this was a little bit interesting, guys. I know um, <laughs> my colour and chats get a bit randomly out there but apart from that guys have an amazing week happy coloring happy crafting happy whatever you're doing and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching